John Cockburn, 20th of March, Psychodynamic. My plan today is to help Terry with his ongoing issues. Hello, Terry. Welcome to the session. Hi. How would you like to start today? Um, how did we finish last week? I we was touched on your issues with trust. That's right, yes. It was a very good, and I felt... Supportive session, how did you feel? Yeah, I, I, I felt it was good, but I just didn't think I really had long enough. It just, just touched the surface. Okay. okay. And given that we've had a week now, yeah. you've been thinking about things, pondering, yeah. I imagine. So, yeah, oh, I've talked about you are. Well, uh, how you right, feel about your okay. trust issues? Well, what, I'll probably just expand for now yes. on what I brought up. It's Correct. just yes. literally touching the surface. My boss. As you know, I don't think too highly of him as an understatement. I won't swear about him this time, but he is an idiot, shall we say. Um, the problem is he, um, I'm sure, because because I've had a lot of sickness because of my depression, I have to tell him about I've got to give a reason for being sick. Of course. And then I feel, I walk into the colleagues are laughing, so I'm not convinced that in our confidential space, I realise this is a confidential space, is yes, it? Correct, of course. Okay. Is, yes. um, I feel he um, talks about me behind my back. Um, I guess that from the reaction of colleagues, he might yes. be laughing about other things because we've done them at the office. And the other one is with my partner, who for some reason wants to marry me. We've set up a house together, which I'm struggling with. But she's away a lot and she doesn't always contact me and I don't trust, I don't know what she gets up to while she's away. She seems to have a smile on her face when she comes back. So I don't trust, I don't trust her. Trust. Trust. No trust at work with your boss. Yes. And maybe your colleagues. Yes. And no trust at home with your partner. It's a different situation. It is, it is, it is it. So yeah. this is where I am. Tell me about what trust means to you. Trust means to rely on, relying on somebody yes. to do something. Not necessarily on my terms, but just to be, just to know that they're not, use what you were saying for politically or humiliating. So, so I'll describe trust is what I now, I use the word now, yes. have with my parents you trust your parents yeah it's been a difficult we had a difficult past but as you know i'm, I'm not sure whether i want to go down there i understand uh, but um we now have a routine uh, which helps it, it, and what's you, that routine you have with your okay, parents okay right this might sound a bit crazy but they ring me eight o'clock in the evening every day. And they were once five minutes late and I freaked out. It was only because I think they had some plumbing problem which they sorted. So it's like, it's a routine they have to ring eight o'clock, EastEnders finishes or when EastEnders not on, there's always something I'm watching. And then I get that call. And it's a routine that brings you comfort, but unfortunately distress when it's disturbed. Yes. Is it a routine that you've imposed, that you've created? Or is it a routine that's come from your parents? I think it's mutual, but it's mainly me. I think they understand. I don't think if they, it doesn't bother them if we don't have the call later. I think they, they, they now understand what time means to me. Time is very important to you. Yeah, it, it, all, time, it, all, time it always has been, funny enough, but it, re it really is now. And I think there might be some sort of... It's all very complex. Of course it is. So of course it is. It's it, difficult for you when you're late and when other people yeah, are late. Yeah, yeah, it happens. And it's not... It's Timekeeping is important. Yeah, yeah. I, it's kind of like... It's, there's other examples... Tell me more about the other examples, please. Oh, gosh. Expand on oh, 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 Let me think. I've got one. 
You've probably never heard of this. It's called walking football. I know you're far too young for this. No, I haven't heard of <laughs> Okay. But anyway, let me explain. So I thought, I thought I just need a release outside of the work environment, which, as you know, is pretty crap. I got all it. And I heard about this advert for this walking football. Yeah. I thought, I'll be good at this. is something good for me. Yeah. And obviously, so anyway, I was stuck at work. I had to do each work to make up the time that I lost so my depression. Anyway, cut a long story short. Traffic was awful. I was driving, I, was going, I turned up 10 minutes late. 10 minutes late doesn't seem like an enormous issue. No, you would have thought so, just for a game of fun football. Yes. The organiser, and I won't talk about that for another session. I understand. Uh, turned up and he shouted in the middle of the game. And he said, I introduced myself as Terry. He, he said, um, the game's already started. I've set up the teams, the pitches. Yes. I've had to make sure the sides are even. even. And not even because you're late, so I had to take somebody from another pitch, yes. go on to pitch E or whatever, straight away, just sent me to another pitch. And he, did, and he kept pointing at yeah. his watch. And that made you feel uncomfortable? Uncomfortable and, I'm trying to find the right word. Were you humiliated by yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, that's it. So that's how I felt. And I felt everyone else, other players, were laughing about me. And when I was playing, they kept saying, I'm running all the time. I wasn't running, I was just walking quickly. And they said, come for a drink afterwards. And I had to take a call from parents, so I couldn't do the course, drink. Yeah. But um, they were laughing, they kept yeah. laughing. And I, again, I think they were talking behind my back. So similar issues to work, yeah. timekeeping. There yeah. seems to be a pattern that we could go and explore. It's obviously <laughs> important to you. Your uh, parents ringing you the same time every night. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's so easy. Tell me more about <sighs> your timekeeping when you were at college, maybe college, beforehand. College, college, yeah. University, well, college, school. Oh gosh. Yeah, because I mentioned I was at university. Yeah, and I remember, yeah, I, I might have shocked you that yes. I've actually got a degree. Yeah, no, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, oh, John, John, it's, um, <sighs> it's, you're in safe company. I'm here to protect and support you. Let's try and work together to okay. expand on those feelings. Okay. It's all right to have a sip of tea. Of course it is. Thank you for allowing me. Take it from Okay. Um, okay, so what's happening? So this is what college or university. Say for everyone yes. call, thinks it's college, it's uni. Yes. Anyway, so I would turn up for my lectures 10 minutes early, 10 minutes early, yes. and actually, I turned up, turned up 10 minutes early, but I just only realised, aren't I? Yeah, it's very commendable. Yeah, he did it, that's yeah. Correct. I know you like it. You I like, like, it is important. Yeah, and I like the welcome that you give me, so sort of saying, you know, <laughs> you. So yeah. anyway, so getting back to gig right, so, so here we are. How long have we got? Because this is quite... At the moment we have another Two minutes or thereabouts, we can expand on one Yeah, of okay. Comfort. So it's college and it was school as well. I just kept school. Turned to heaven. So I made a point of turning up early for college yes. because at school I was always late because um, I got accumulated because I kept missing my bus and my parents were very working class. Yes. And um, I got told off, I got accumulated in front of the class. Mm -hmm. So I made a point of turning up early for college. I can see there may well be a theme here between timekeeping and humiliation. Yes. Feeling uncomfortable because of poor timekeeping. Yes. An effort to be early and not yeah. feeling and, as well as being appreciated. Yeah, and people talking behind my back as well. That's what they did at university. And at work, you mentioned previously. Yes. There's a connection also, between the two. We are coming to the end of our session, oh, unfortunately, but it's something we can work on in the future. Oh, yeah, there's so much there. I'd love to tell you about my parents. Gone. My dad was a postman. Yes. So um, timekeeping was important. Yeah. <laughs> my mum, and I think he suddenly comes down to it with being a cleaner, had to I turn understand. up on time and... Whew. No, but that... The, I believe there is a pattern. I believe you can draw a line yeah. from your childhood through to school, university, work. Your leisure time, the instance with your parents and yeah. rigid timekeeping like you speak to, we can unpick this further if you're comfortable. It's and difficult. And we can look to make progress starting next week when we meet again. How does that sound to you? 
knackering <laughs> in a good way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. It is. That's good. You, you stick with it. Stick uh, with it. For oh. today, we'll, we'll call it a day. Thank we'll you wait. very I'm much, John. But thank you, John. <laughs>